Welcome back. How you doing? If you new here, hello. I'm Project P. If you old here, I am still Project P. If you wondering, what are we doing this week? Well, to keep it simple, we back with another episode of Wife Swap. We got the finale of the Ives and the Costa. Costa, I don't know how to say their last name. Y'all know that. Before we get into the video, though, let's get the formalities out the way real quick. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification because these Wife Swap videos come out in two parts. You don't want to miss the second one. I'm on a streak right now. Let me keep going. If you notice in the gameplay in the background, I've been going live on YouTube lately, playing Playing games, chatting it up. It's a way more personal type beat. I hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure to tune in. I'm on a streak right now. One last thing. If we can get this video to 200 likes in the first two days, I'll drop another video later this week. Two uploads in a week. I tried this last week. I think I went too high, but f it. We're going to keep giving it a try. Now that we're done with the intro at speed runner's pace, let's get right back into where we left off. In Oklahoma, Pam must spend the whole day watching Kyle and Cody perform in the Globe of Steel. Kyle and Cody's life consists of motorcycles and being on the road, and that's it. Oh my God, we finna start the episode off with, quite frankly, her being jealous. These kids are doing what she wants to do. If she could just sit down, all she had to do was go from show to show and just paint at venue to venue, she wouldn't be mad. But since it's these kids on these motorcycle doing these tricks, she wanna hate. Hey, get that out of here. We don't like that energy. Sean needs to help them discover themselves. Cody and Kyle need to have a life. Bro, what is she crying about? Stop this. Stop this. Stop this. See, usually I wouldn't be mad at you for crying. Get your emotions out. You feel me? But this is stupid. These kids are doing what they want to do. They may not want to be in a steel ball doing loop de loops, but still, it's a start. And you're going to sit here and cry. At the cost house, David and the kids must ride their bikes five miles to his job at the church, while Tanya gets to take the air-conditioned hybrid. See, and this is exactly what I was just talking about. She got her kids biking to school as she drives to art class. And she want to complain about the kids going from venue to venue, selling out shows, doing backflips on motorcycles. You, this, this lady is a handful. After the show, Pam decides to confront Sean about the way he's raising Cody and Kyle. Is this money worth? Yes. Yes, it is. Do you see how fat that stack is? Them boys was probably in there for an hour, tumbling in a cage. Is it worth it? Uh, that's like $300 an hour. Yes. I don't care what you bring up. You could bring aliens coming down with a ray gun right now, having it pointed at your child's head, forcing him to do those shows. $300 an hour is $300 an hour. I'm sorry. Sacrificing your kids, hearing your kids, being able to breathe. I mean, I'm kind of a guy I don't really give a what you think and what anybody else thinks. I know that. I know but that. As long as my kids but say that they're kids. having a good time. That's all that matters to me. And in this point in case he's spitting, she's bringing up good points about the hearing and the breathing and the blah, 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 blah. But it's not like these kids are the first people to ever ride a motorcycle in a steel cage ever. They're not doing nothing revolutionary or even innovative. They doing what's already been done before. Hey, I don't see the kids enjoying themselves. I see them working. There's a whole world of experience that your kids are missing. They have all the opportunity. No, they don't. They have lots and lots and lots of money. Get a life. Okay, first off, you're not finna be yelling at me about my kids on some shit you don't even know. You looking at they face as they ride in a motorcycle in a steel cage and expecting them to have a smile on their face. I'm sorry. That takes focus. You put me in a steel cage with a motorcycle doing loop de loops. One, I can't ride a bike. I'm going to be petrified. And two, if I get the dang thing right, of course I'm going to be focused. I don't want to fall and break my neck. What is she talking about right now? Really? You need to read some books. You could be learning something. So if I walk if in you your house tomorrow because you got 10 books laying on the wall, that means you're a smart girl. It means you're exposing yourself to new ideas. What are your kids learning? You know what's crazy? If I was to sit here and talk crazy about this lady, 
I would be a hypocrite. I'm one of the guys in my past videos telling you to learn all you need, read books, get the knowledge. But I don't think just because I endorse learning extra shit, I'm smarter than everybody. I'm sitting here praising these extreme motorcyclists because that's some cool shit. You don't need to read a book to know that is cool. I don't care what she's talking about. Just cause she got 10 books on her wall, she thinks she's smarter than me? Cause she thinks she can change the world because she's a vegetarian and got a hybrid car? Good for her, let her change the world on her side of the street. This could not be me in this episode. I would have clipped that and posted that everywhere. I'm walking in the middle of the street with a water bottle and a wad of cash in my hand, talking straight craziness to this lady. Hey, don't tell me how to raise my family. You broke and you don't eat me. After finishing her art lesson, Tanya heads over to the church where the kids have had to entertain themselves all afternoon. Tell me about how much time you guys spend here. Seven hours. Seven hours at church? After going to school for eight hours, I understand loving God, but if I'm at church for seven hours, God himself better be paying me or blessing me. I want to walk down the street and every water sprinkler that's going off, it turns to wine because I am your best angel at that point. Jesus Christ, no pun intended. Do they ever ask you guys what you guys want to go do? Not very often. <laughs> What's the reasoning for that? It's too expensive. We don't have enough money to do that kind of thing. There's no budget in this family for extras for the children. See, and if you knew here, you probably think I'm being hard on this other lady. But sentences like that aggravate me. One, you taking a car to go to art class, which obviously costs a lot. Your kids spending all this time damn near working nine to five so you can do your whole little art gig peacefully. Then you are not making no money to sufficiently entertain the children. This lady should not be a mother. Hey Sean, where should I put my bag? That's something we wanna talk about. This is a happy home. We don't really think that you can bring happiness to our home, so we're gonna ask you not to stay with us. Okay. There's literally no way. Bro told her we're here for only a month and you're fucking up the vibes. Get going, oh my God. I don't blame him. I like this family more and more. Every clip, they just doing it. They hitting that, they hitting home runs. That's just fine by me. <laughs> I feel a great sense of relief that I'm not gonna stay in their house tonight. No, you are not happy. I know for a fact you are not happy. First part of the episode, you was complaining that you was living in a hotel. Now your ass getting sent back to a hotel. You wanna talk about you relieved. Nah, you're embarrassed. I would be too though. I, I, I wanna feel bad for this lady, I just don't. I'm enjoying this. Since they're not letting me stay at the house, I'll go stay at a hotel. It seems like a difference of opinion is an offense that is unforgivable. See, and here she goes, just completely missing the point. The point isn't that y'all argue. The point is you came for everything about this man while yelling in his face, acting holier than thou, calling him stupid under the table, just throwing all type of subliminals at this man. And you expect to sleep on his couch. No, you a grown woman. You need to know to respect people. Go respect the hotel clerk. Go respect them bag bugs over at the Western Union. But now that things already hit a tipping point, it's time for to get even worse. Cause now it's time for the rules to swap. Y'all know how this go. Hey, 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 my fault. Uh, rule change is finna happen. Let's get right into it. I've lived in your macho world of bikes and brawn. You're all a bunch of artistically stunted, wasteful thrill seekers. And you think that us as a family does not express ourselves. We have a no artistic at all. No, I see no artistic vision. Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. Self-expression, your fit is trash by pseudo you an artist and you can't dress i don't believe you're an artist i seen her art. i can't i can't i can't do her like that i seen her pain but you can't dress and your haircut is ugly and your glasses are stupid now i'm just being mean i'm sorry your wife has spent too much time taking care of herself and her art it's time for the family to stop living for pam's dream and time for the children to start living their own oh yeah yeah absolutely 
She's an awful woman. That didn't feel like sarcasm. I've been sitting here saying it the whole time, but hearing it out the husband mouth, that didn't feel like sarcasm. DJ Funky Fresh, what are we talking about right now? I need you to clarify that. Your family does not eat properly. For the next week, you're going to be vegetarians. <laughs> you got it. Get out, get out, get out. Pack your bags and leave again. If you come in my house and tell me I can't eat no beanies and weenies. If you come in my house and tell me I can't have no ribs, oyster on a half rack, pepperoni pizza, get out. You have to go. You're packed up. You're done for. The stress and pressure your boys are under to be motorcycle stars is depriving them of a childhood. You will make a contract to cut the number of shows you perform by 75%. I'm not gonna sign that, just let you know. She's digging a hole, let her lay in. 75%? That means if they do four shows a month, they can only do one. You know how bad that's gonna affect their pockets? It's not even about the kids enjoying da da da. You can tell them, spend less time at the shows or at least do three shows a month and just take a breather week, a bypass week. But to say you're only working once a month, that's like half a shift a week. She not doing the math here. I'm not gonna do it for a grown ass woman. David, it's time to turn your wife's canvases into cash. So you're going to sell her work and spend the money where it needs to be spent on the kids. I don't think he's being sarcastic right now. Hey bro, you can't hate that she trying to do some good for the kids. If you're just sitting here giving out these quips like you Spider-Man over her trying to make your family better, you deserve to lie in the same ditch your wife gonna lie in. That was pretty aggressive. What I mean by that is you deserve to be called a kid just like she deserves to be called a kid. Y'all two peas in a pod being bad people. Kids, if you think smashing rocks with a golf club is exciting, you're going to flip when you get a taste of real action and adrenaline. I'm going to surprise you with some experiences you'll never forget. What is it? You're just going to Tell me what it means. Is that something? You're, oh, you're going through life. Okay, sorry. You're going to see. Ah, I don't agree with this. Knowing your background, if you tell my kids, hey, y'all, go skydiving, go backflip off the Grand Canyon, it's fun. You'll have fun. I'm kicking you out just like they kicked her out. Your ass is crazy. Evil Knievel, you need to go. We're not doing it. Not my house. Tractors, ATVs, and other toys are contributing to the destruction of our environment. You will get the keys to all your vehicles, and we're going to lock them up in this box. Are you coming? No, they can do it. It's their bikes. You don't have something to start the tractor? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, give me the keys. This is a good protest. I like this. Because like I said, you're not finna cut my money away from me without a good old fight. We ain't finna wrestle for the keys, but you damn sure gonna have to find them. You gonna have to come in my pockets while I'm asleep and hope I don't wake up and headbutt you because we getting the money. They're in the ignition. Go get them, I ain't getting them. You go get them. You wanna change the rules? You go do it. I just feel sorry for her children. They have no life. You know she pissed him off. When a man go outside and go fishing while rambling, you pissed him off. I had a couple days where I was like, hey, I got to hit up the boys. We're going to drink a couple brewskis. We're going to go fucking fishing, man. And that's top tier pissed off. First morning of rule change in Georgia, and Pam starts off the morning trying to break the Ives carnivorous habits with a healthy vegetarian breakfast. That doesn't even look good. I'm definitely not trying. Come on, you're going to be starving if you don't eat some breakfast. What's up with vegans trying to force people head on into veganism? Why would you give somebody who just ate a steak no less than 24 hours ago a whole bunch of kale, wheat, and barley? It's never going to work that way. Like I always say, you got to dip their toe in the water. Give them some mushroom steak or a Beyond pizza, some, something, something similar, and slowly throughout the week, take away the fake meat and then give them salad. Last day, everybody's eating salad. Everybody's happy. It could all be so simple. Pam has ruled all motorized vehicles off limits, so Sean turns to a more basic source of horsepower. Kids say they're hungry, so I'm gonna get them some food. I'm going to town, I'm gonna get me a hamburger. Anybody that can't eat meat ain't a real American. At this point of the episode, there's only two things that can make me not like this guy. One, if he just full on start whooping his kids ass, he, he lost me. And two, if he say the N-word, he lost me. Other than that, this guy is that guy. She took the keys to the car, to the trailer, to the ATVs. He said, you can't take the keys to the horse. I like this guy. Don't lose me. In Georgia, Sean has broken Pam's rules. And he's on his way home with a fist full of burgers. Hey, boys. 
I'm eating your brother. <laughs> Why would you do that? What did the cows do to deserve that? Bro, hold up a full beef burger talking about I'm eating your brother. Stop it, bro. That's so fucked up. Please get down. What for? Get down. I'm not talking to you when you're sitting up in the air and I'm on the ground. I ain't getting down. But you are playing the part of a fool here. I don't know if anybody looking foolish here. I think it's her. I'm actually damn near 100% it's her. You out here being a hypocrite live on TV. When you're up in the air, you're in a position of power. I want to be equal with you. You're never going to be equal to me, though. I got this far in life thinking the way I do, and I don't think I'm willing to change anymore. Bro is on Hey, Oh, my God. I can't even talk right now. Bro is talking his shit. Let me calm down. I'm not about being higher than other people, but listen, in this situation, I'll be just like him. I just rode a horse to McDonald's. You're nothing to me. You can't stop me. Yeehaw. Mm. Going on the horse. Looking back, eating dust. Eat my dust. Pam thinks she's above everybody. She's whacking crazy. I mean, I don't care about her thoughts. I don't care about her feelings. I don't care of anything she has to say. Rightfully so. This lady just coming in, criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. We need you to improvise, improve, and educate. That's what we here for. That's what Wife Swap is all about. And you just sitting here being a mean person. Pam. But now that we done been through all these emotional ups and downs to get to the end of this roller coaster, we got to go through one more loop, de loop, de loop, de loop. That being the end game conference, post game conference, both parents, both wives meet up. Let's see how they talk it out, hash it out. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. I've got to tell you, you absolutely have three wonderful, beautiful children. Tanya, I love your boys too. And I feel really bad that I couldn't bond with them. Mm -hmm. What I saw was your boys didn't seem happy. See, y'all not going to pick up on this. If you listen in with headphones, you can hear her voice trembling or whatever like she's just been through some drastic situation where she was the victim of everything going on it's not the case and she's finna sit here in front of this wife and try and play victim i saw your boys just kind of going through motions i'm just mad i'm so mad I kid you not, that was literally the first interaction. That, what? <laughs> I don't know if this is where this video ends. There, there has to be more. She just makes my skin crawl. I just, I'm just, sheep sat there and dogged my two boys and just downing them like they were dirt. You don't know how fat I am. I gotta finish you don't even re realize. It's done, it's over with. See, but he mad about the same thing I'm mad about. You gonna sit here, come in an interview like you was all high and mighty, but whole time you was being mean to my entire family. We kicked you out the first night, the first. Oh no, you deserve that. I think that's where we end this video here. If you new here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification to get notified anytime I upload a video. The next video will be uploaded relatively soon, the same week this video drops. If this video hits 200 likes, and speaking of the next video, if you made it this far, you may have a helping hand in choosing what my next video will be. If y'all wanna see another MILF Manor episode, let me know. I'll catch up over these past few days and give y'all what y'all want if y'all want i've been thinking about doing beyond scared straight if y'all want some beyond scared straight let me know about that too if y'all don't let me know anything i'm gonna flip a coin and we're gonna see what it do on that note have a good one drink your water take your naps and watch your kids goodbye